10 on your side spent the day checking on neighborhoods that saw some heavy flooding this weekend. 10 on your side's Lex Gray talked to one woman in the Glen Rock area who seems to have it even worse than others in a neighborhood that already has plenty of water problems. Lex? Yeah, Stephanie and Chris, if you live in Hampton Roads, you probably know that we have a lot of flooding problems. So that's why I was shocked when I drove up to this Norfolk home and saw how it works almost like a drainage pond for the rest of the neighborhood. You can see how the driveway slopes down behind me and how high the water got on Saturday. Um, but then it dips down. Looking at how high the water got around her Norfolk home, Candace Sanchez is almost at a loss for words. I am so exhausted. Exhausted by a three year long battle with flooding problems at her house, which dips lower than other lots in a neighborhood already constantly battling floods. Some people will probably look at the house and say it was our know. fault for buying here. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I guess, yeah, it's that's true. It is. You know, we didn't take that into consideration. We were we just had stars in our eyes. You know, getting great house, great deal. But looking back doesn't help Sanchez now. You know, we thought when we originally bought the house that, you know, it's tucked back in and we were in our own little oasis. Yeah. It's not. So much. It's not. <laughs> I'm laughing because that's easier than crying. Sanchez just found out this latest round of flooding will cost her about $1,000 since her water heater flooded again. Plus, she's got two kids and no one to help clean up the mess. You know, they always say that when a spouse goes on deployment, everything is going to go wrong. And it really feels like that, that's hitting home, literally. Sanchez has four rainy months until her Navy husband makes it home, and she's worried the problems will only get worse. Every year it's getting worse, and now this year, every storm, it's getting worse. I talked to Janine White today with the city's public works department. She acknowledges that this neighborhood and this house in particular are really tough when it comes to flooding problems, but she says the city has no plans to implement any flood mitigation projects here. She also said that public works crews come by regularly and clean out the drains and ditches, but I talked to Candace here and neighbors around the area, and they say it makes no difference. It floods no matter what. I'm live in Norfolk, Lex Gray, 10 on your side.